This video will demonstrate the principles of using MDrummer to effectively and efficiently create a drum track to a song. It is important to watch our MIDI command method tutorial prior to this video, so you understand the principles of some of the methods used here. I'll start by briefly acquainting you with the track I'll be using. Get back, you feel me? Yeah, I get back, y'all, out my face! I'm gonna spread your brains all over the place! I'm gonna kick through that door and make a scene! Hit your dog with a robot magazine! Get back! You know I pity the fool! I wanna have to send you right back down to grammar school! Yeah, you know I'm hotter than hell! And I'm gonna vex you! Gonna put you under my spell if you can't. To start, I'll create a new software instrument track. From Logic's mixer window, I'll head to the AU instruments in the in out section of the track and select MDrummer 1 out. Choose 16 out if you plan on extensive mixing. Hip hop is a good preset for this track. I'll also choose an adequate rhythm. Don't hate the player, hate the game! I'm also going to insert an instance of M multiband limiter into the chain to make the drum track hotter from the offset. Get back, get back, y'all. Get back, get back, get back, get back, get back, get back, y'all. Get back. The song starts with one bar of silence. I'll draw a MIDI clip here, which can be the intro, followed by an eight-bar MIDI clip, which I will use as a template for the rest. I'll draw a note on C-2 for the intro. On the second clip, I'll draw seven bars of groove and a one bar break. I'll now simply alt drag the second clip along the arrangement and add a final MIDI clip for the outro. I'll show how the verse sounds prior to editing. And after an increase of three semitones. With that in mind, I'll edit the remaining clips accordingly. An increase of eight semitones for the first chorus. An increase of six semitones for the solo. An increase of nine semitones for the second chorus. An increase of four semitones for the second verse. An increase of ten semitones for the final chorus and bridge. And an increase of ten semitones for the outro. I want to add some variation, so in the three chorus sections, I'm going to add a stop, half a bar in, and a break on bar six. I'll add two stops in this final chorus, since it will work well with the vocal. Heading back to MDrummer's interface, I'll click on the additional button and deselect random loops, so I have full control over which loops MDrummer will play. Now, using the velocity control, I can choose which loops I want to use for this song.
To conclude this demonstration, I will play the song through with the drum track. Don't hate the player, hate the game. Yeah, worldwide. Get back, get back, get back, y'all. Get back, get back, get back, get back, get back, get back, get back y'all. Get back, get back. I tell you, get back. I tell you, get back. I'll kill you. I wanna have to send you right back down to grammar school Yeah, you know I'm hotter than hell And I'm gonna vex you, wanna put you under my spell If you can't climb up, get up, and that's your problem Cause I rule this town now, who you wanna call is Get back, get back, get back, y'all Get back, get back, get back, get back, get back, get back, get back y'all Thanks for watching. Next, in the M Drummer tutorial series, I will show you how the song tab can be used as an alternative method.